Hey guys, welcome back to another Sims 4 build. It feels like it's been such a long time since I've done one, but today I am doing a beach bar in preparation for Island Living, which is coming out in about a week's time, and I'm super excited for it. I've got my own Let's Play planned out for it, I've got Sim planned for it, and I've got a mermaid idea planned out as well, because I'm going to have a mermaid in the Let's Play series as well, but she's not going to be a main character, she's going to be one you meet, and she'll be very important to the story, that kind of thing. But I'm making a beach bar, which has a swimming pool in it, that's why I've got all the sand terrain painted out, because I wanted to do this before, and it ended up becoming my Spanish restaurant, El Saborico, which is known as the Rich Taste, I think, in Spanish. But that was the idea I was having for it initially. I wanted to make this um, beach bar with a pool, so you could drink, you could go to the pool, have a grand old time. And it had sort of ended up becoming a restaurant instead, but I managed to do it this time, and it was a pretty decent one in the end. I liked the way it went. I do get rid of most of these palm trees, because I realised that just having a having a whole bunch of palm trees in a line is probably not the best idea. They need to be more like surrounded by rocks and some of the aloe vera plants, kind of like in the uh, world decor around, so to speak. But I do sort of keep some of the rocks around and a bunch of the... Uh, like uh, tropical flowers to more just sort of fill out that back bit so it was um it wouldn't get in the way and also didn't make it look so like bare that way but I had such a fun time building this I'm super excited for island living I'm super excited as well for the game pack uh realm of magic that's gonna be so much fun because I love the idea of magic I never got to play any magic in any of the sims games because I never played sims 3 I only played sims 2 and we never I don't think we even had the the game pack I think Oh, when I was growing up, which had magic in it. And we never actually... Well, I never really played Sims 1 very much. So Sims 2 was the only one I ever played that much. But here I am. So I've made the pool and I put like some lights in, some decor, uh, a couple ladders and the diving board, of course, because you've got to have the diving board. And as well, and I'm making the uh, beach part thing. It's very open plan. There's only two walls in the end because I needed, I needed the walls for the... Um, just one for the bar wall and one for also to put some wall decor up because I wanted to have spandrels and I needed to keep it very open because I was actually inspired by looking at some of the uh, beach stuff in the trailers and um, watching some of the gameplays from the game changers and that was like what I was looking at and I do put those flip flop lights up and I love those flip flop lights. I think they're really cute and they'll look great in some of the uh, builds to do. I can't wait until the game comes out because I'm going to do a whole bunch of builds on that island. Because I love what it's inspired by. Hawaiian and like Pacific Ocean, Pacific Island culture. And it looks really cool. It looks really cool and I'm super excited to see uh, what the whole pack's going to be about when it comes out. I'm not like too... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of looking forward to the Moschino stuff pack. Like, I know people are going to not like it because it's Moschino and it's a bit weird and high fashion and it's not what people are sort of thinking when they thought of a stuff pack, but I'm just going to see where the hell it takes us and see what on earth the clothes look like. Because I, really, I have, like, some Sims that I'm playing with who, one is, like, a very high contentious fashion designer. He's this fashion style, trendsetter stylist. And it's like, I don't don't have a lot of CC clothing, which is very high fashion, but very trendy. And maybe the Moschino stuff can sort of look outlandish enough for a fashion darling, that kind of thing. And I'm also looking forward to the Pride update that's coming out soon. I'm actually looking forward to that a lot as well, because I think I've seen in similar season playthroughs when I was, or her build videos, there's a Pride flag. And I've already got a Pride flag in my game. I have a CC one that I found, and I've just knocked over my Sailor Venus doll again. And um, basically I've got this pride flag that I downloaded uh, from, I can't remember, I think it was from Tumblr I downloaded it. And it came in, um, four, it was four different flags, so it was a, a standard LGBT rainbow flag by Pan and Ace, I think the other one was. And from what I gather, this new flag uh, they're putting into the game is going to have like loads of the flags. And I love that idea, because I've actually got a friend who's got a giant um, Pan flag on his wall. And I look forward to seeing that because I've got a sim in one of my saves. And when I when the patch update comes out, I'm going to put it. I'm going to go jump into that save to show you guys the CC flag I've got, and then show off the actual flag from the update. And I do want to see some of these new clothes. Uh, I want to see like what some of the clothes look like. I think there's like a very simple black t-shirt, and I do wonder maybe they'll have some uh, like some hats or scarves. Maybe not scarves. They don't seem to have scarves for this game for accessories, but like definitely a hat or some more t-shirts and stuff. That'd be interesting. And here I was. Uh, the bar came out pretty well. I finally got to use that tiki bar for once. Because I was like, I got the tiki bar and there's 
at least now got a way to use it for my beach bar. And then I put this up on the wall here just for people to walk in. I was playing with the lighting so I could get an idea of what we were going to get. Sort of, sort of how I was going to play with the lighting. So what kind of lights I needed and what sort of lights I was going to be using. And I do use a lot of the Perfect Patio stuff for this one because like it's all really good outdoor stuff and it looks so cool. It's all very like trendy and modern but it uh, definitely looks um definitely looks apart. I've got to put the uh, hot tub in of course. The hot tub's actually worked really well here and I put these outdoor uh, seatings here from backyard and I thought no I used the perfect patio ones because they do look pretty nice. They're very sleek and modern but I think for the kind of bar this is it works pretty well. It's just called beach bar. This doesn't have a fancy name or anything but people have downloaded it quite a bit so it's already quite popular uh, from my downloads and I did put these uh, chairs in as well and I think I put in a barbecue as well because I wanted it to look like a beach bar but you can also like grill there you can get lots of drinks you can go into the hot tub you can go into the pool I wanted it to be kind of like a beach bar but like a very communal sort of hangout area as well because I was inspired by looking at the stuff in Island Living from the Game Changers videos from Sims Play and Della Gracie and Simla C's videos so that was kind of what I was going for for this one I call this like it's a sort of very for Oasis Springs it's very like a modern trendy kind of bar that went with the beach theme uh, that's sort of where I was going with it and sort of how it ended up being and I think it doesn't look too bad. I was playing around with the lights here. I was like, what lights do I use? What lights do I use? I wanted to use these um, light bulb lights from, I think, ba the from Backyard. But I just couldn't figure out where to put them. So I ended up do using these uh, flip-flop lights. And they do overlap here. That was kind of annoying. And then what I had to do is I had to put a wall in to go and put the rest of the flip-flop lights up along the uh, spandrel. So they worked that well because otherwise they weren't going to... Like, they would... Um, it's very hard to put them on the spandrels that way so I'm just turning it to night to see how the lighting is going to look and I think I put in those saucer lights just for a little while and then I get rid of them because I put in like loads of other lighting sources so yeah and uh, I was trying with these city living lights they didn't look very well they didn't like work very well so I was just like you know I'm not going to use those I'm going to use a lot of these smaller like sort of not steam lights but a lot of wall lights and uh Outdoor lights. I do use these. These city living lanterns worked so well and that colour scheme worked really well with the beach bar theme. I was super happy about that and was happy that I was able to find like some sort of outdoor street lights that worked for it. And I just sort of put these on. I do make them smaller because I didn't realise you could do that. I knew you could like size them up and down but I never really thought to do that in my bills and then I get rid of them straight after because I didn't want to use them. And then I was just putting like some little lights, like those lanterns, outdoor patio la lanterns. I use the outdoor patio furniture a lot for this build. It's because I never really use it that much, so I was able to use it for this one. And then I put the wall in here, and then I put all these uh, lights across, as you can see. And then I had that one extra space. So I put in two uh, columns there and ended up just making that single wall so that it could... Um, just so that it could sort of cover in, sort of maybe hide the bar a bit, uh, just a little bit. And also because I wasn't able to put any flip-flop lights in there. But it worked pretty well. I think I put a, another light on there. I can't remember what I put there. I think I just put like, um, oh yeah, uh, I made that CC. <laughs> I made that CC. If you briefly just saw Dwayne The Rock Johnson's face, I made that CC. Yeah, I put this uh, accessory on the wall there and it worked pretty well. But yes, if you just saw, I put in a Dwayne The Rock Johnson clock into the game. Because I made that. I literally just took the clock, uh, found his face, found a clock face online. And basically just made my own CC clock with his face on. Because it just sounded like it would be fun. And you can actually download that. I'll put that in the description if any of you want to download my Dwayne The Clock Johnson CC. Because it's super cool cool and quirky and funny and my friend actually has a Dwayne The Rock Johnson clock and I'm just making the bathrooms uh, I didn't know where to put the bathrooms because I didn't realise you needed them for the bar I figured I, sh you should, have, I should have had to put them in because it's a bar and so what I did was I made some downstairs bathrooms just very simple downstairs uh, not very um, like very simple gendered uh, of course, because I didn't know what else to use. Because I, I, I do very, I have like a very samey approach to all my bathrooms, where they've all got to have the use the exact same doors and depending on 
and all have the exact same look. I think it gets tiring after a while, but I just don't know how to do like public bathrooms any other way. This is like the only way I know how to do it. Maybe I should just make some gender neutral ones. But maybe in the next build. Maybe in the next build or I'll just replace all the doors, I don't know. But you can replace all the doors if you want, if you download them. And it was just like easier to make it downstairs because I didn't have any space and basement space is always good. And it looks pretty good. It's so simplified as well. And then I, all I had to do was put in a stereo and the television. Then I put a hedge here just to make it look inconspicuous. And then I put in some pop speakers on the walls because I think the pop music's like the better stuff to use. I did think about that plum bot box, but then I decided against it. So I just put these uh, pop music speakers on the wall. I put a couple in here. I had to move the uh, light over there, the parrot light over. And then I just put that small get to work TV just above the bar because no one's really going to use it like no one's going to be coming to the bar to watch TV essentially I could have probably put like a smaller TV on one of the chair on like one of the tables but I decided against it and it, it ended up looking pretty well and I just put like a few little bits of decorations on just to make it look a little bit more pretty especially like on the front because you come in and there's not really much else so a half wall worked and just making it look a little bit a little bit more like a sort of inviting in kind of area for the bar because so I was a bit more focused on the outside and sort of just putting all the bar stuff in and then just doing just a little bit more just making it a, li a little bit more interesting just putting in these plants uh, these perfect patty plants they worked pretty well and I don't think I put anything else in I think that was all I did in the end but you can see you're looking around it's all looking good uh, I think the spandrels were all I had to do then. It's a party place, of course, because you've got to make it a party place. And now you can see the pictures. It's very simplified. It's on the gallery under Beach Bar under my ID, Ripley Gamer. If you go on there, you'll find all my builds. I do have CC builds on there, but any of the videos I have CC featured, I do have links to them if you want to download them. So there you are. And Dwayne the Clock Johnson is in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.